Hi there. So this morning I'm getting ready to do some binding on one of my Chigra Beg models later on. Uh, and the first thing I need to do is bend the bindings. Uh, bindings in this case are made out of rock light. Um, rock light's a phenomenal material. Um, it's wood, uh, but it's uh, basically a wonderful ebony substitute. Um, so when the bindings arrive with me, it's uh, sanded to 2 mil and uh, about 6.5 mil high in this case uh, and these particular bindings have got two lines of 0.3 in white and separated by a 0.3 in black so it's just my, my personal preference so um, yeah I just want to take you through a wee bit of the process of bending and um, because it's wood it bends in the same way it's, uh, it's no need to change process really bending iron set to high I tend to build uh, bend uh, on high and, and quickly. Um, it's just just the way I do it. So, yeah, basically I'll just start the bend. So I get my orientation. Obviously, this will be the signboard face um, and upper bite. So, get that correct. So, just start the bend. Now this stuff. So the heats and the bends. The tighter the bend, the closer the heats and the bends. That makes sense. My principle. So coming round into the lower bout, lower bout, upper bout even. <laughs> so start that. So that going. A little bit tighter on there. Now with this stuff there's absolutely no delamination of any type. Never had it, never had a problem with that with this stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. So ebony sometimes, the coach lining can sometimes delaminate, um, which isn't wonderful, but this stuff, no longer. So just coming around into the waist now, and the waist on the sugar bag is quite tight. So distance between the heats and the bends, very close together. Get that tightened off. So there we go, that's the, the waist done there. And then into the shallower curve of the lower bout. So I'm just get that done. Now in terms of gluing this stuff, um, I use Type 1 Original, but you can use two or three um, animal hides, fish glues, all work. Because it's wood, no need to change process at all. So, tighten that part out up a little bit. So that's the first one done there. Uh, and now the next thing, this sugar bag, I'm going to say, it's got cutaway, um, and the cutaway in this case is uh, Florentine style, and it's got a very, very tight curve on the inside of it. So just get that orientated correctly on there, and then I will grab another one. Uh, there we go. Just go through that. Now I've got a flat here where the uh, fingerboard will go, uh, and then it comes around very, very tight in here. And then heads off on a shallower curve. So let's get our orientation a bit over long. Start the bend and just work it round. So this is a really tight curve, following the, the curve of the iron almost exactly. So do that. You can see there. I mean, that's a that's a seriously tight bend, and absolutely no, no delamination, no kink, no nothing on the coach lining either. So it's actually over, over what I need. But that's not a bad thing. So I just bend that back, and then come into the curve of the Florentine now. Shallower curve again. So greater distance between the heats and the bends. There we go. Actually, I'm just going to tighten that just a little bit more, especially in that corner. So, so there we go. So that's the that's the cutaway binded done now. I'm going to do the same for the back, obviously. Uh, but as you can see, you know, with this kind of 
bendability. Um, you can use it for a whole manner of things. I use it for the inside of uh, rosettes, um, for bound rosettes. I often use it for that, um, and obviously no problem with that. Uh, when I do my rosettes, I tend to put a balloon on the inside of the rosette, and that gives even pressure for gluing. Um, so that's a wee technique there. Um, but as I say, this stuff, no problem with anything we find glues, uh, finishing, nothing at all. Um, at the end of the day, it's wood, um, it's sustainable, and it's fantastic. So I hope that helps, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again. Cheers.